Happy Thanksgiving. I know you're the only one in your whole family that loves audio like this. Um, and so this is a little treat for you. I was getting ready to, I, would, I wouldn't say toss this out, but I would, it's definitely for sale if somebody wants to buy it or uh, this and a bunch of the other magazines. So I don't, I don't buy this stuff anymore. And, uh, you know, considering today's magazine prices, this was $7, which is like half the price. And I'm like, you know, this magazine goes probably $15 if it's even in print anymore. And then it, there's not even boobs in it. Like there's like, what are you paying for? Like, and for many people, this is like a pornography. So it's called the absolute sound. This is the loudspeaker issue. And these are some of the best loudspeakers. When I say loudspeaker, I'm talking about a complete speaker that you can buy. So uh, this is the Utopia drivers in a tower made by Focal. Again, I don't think any of this stuff... I mean, you know, maybe. I'm just not tuned, attuned to any more of this stuff. So, And to me, it all just is like... I mean, it's good looking, but not for the price that they want. It's not Magico. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's... I don't know. Like, I I, I have more satisfaction if, if you can make it yourself. You know what I mean? And, and do a, like, you know, furniture grade finish... You know, and and uh, lacquer coat, hand hand polished, all that kind of shit, stuff that they claim to have. But you know, some people have more money than they do time, and so this is for them. So there you go, reasonably priced at only sixteen hundred dollars for an MP3 player. Hmm. Is it is it fun to look at? Sure. I don't know what that is. I guess it's a MP3 player or flack player, as you can say. See, all this, all this wood, and then they use DSP. <laughs> it's like if you're using DSP, it doesn't have to look like any of that. It can look like anything you want. This is Paradigm, but of course, this is all the furniture grade. This is all the expensive people's stuff rotel i always think of the tomatoes rotel tomatoes so ugh. sonus faber chameleon collection some sort of super duper cable looks like a dyson vacuum or some sort of thing towards that and then the generic stuff this is uh Solution that's a preamp, and this is a stereo amp. Let's see, at least the full power of your hi fi recordings because you're listening to stupid vinyl, which is like the worst next to eight track. Probably eight tracks works. So, but at least eight track had uh, quadraphonic sound, which is kind of cool. Which was a true quadraphonic sound that was before they had DSP. And you needed, well, you don't need four. You could probably get away with three. But the idea was to give you an analog version of surround sound, which if you record it with four mics, yeah, you, you really get that that feeling, that, that uh, terrificness. And then in, I think it was 92, when they realized they could really manipulate the sound uh, with DSP. And uh, probably the best thing to do was to put that on a, uh, or have a CPU process that. But now... They have uh, DSP uh, chips from TI that are like amazing on their own. And that's what they put. In fact, I was I was reading a thing about, uh, oh, I'll have to find a link to the article. It was talking about how um, there's a DSP chip, um, something music, I forget, that's in most um, Android phones, like 46% of Android phones. And uh, it's got an exploit in it, which sucks. But you have to run, uh, you have to run code in order to turn it on, and then it like listens to you. So, but I'm like, uh, I think Apple and Google already do that, so which is fine. You know, just don't use uh, the code words like uh, what is it like bomb, terrorism, um, whatever, something something they don't like. <laughs> I don't give a shit about any of that stuff, so that's why I don't give a shit if I say it. And what's great is the uh, the the 
uh, Google AI um, deciphers everyone's videos or, mo you know, what for what they can. The AI isn't perfect yet, but uh, talk about cheap. It's like, come on, dude, buy, buy some real speakers. Um, and so these are probably actives and then these are passives. Whatever. This is, this is dumb. Um, the AI converts all your uh, speech to text. And then they say it's for um, deaf people, you know, so they can watch your videos. But, you know, of course, what it's really for is so that they can index what you say. Because searching through text is uh, the only way to go. Martin Logan, still making them. And then this is usually a powered 8 or a 10. And this is just a lot of surface area. It's not any better than uh, a dynamic piston driver. Somebody thirsty. Who's that? That's Miss Amali. Miss Amali thirsty. She like gets lots of drink, Mama. <laughs> yeah, these guys have like hate fans online because they they are just full of bullshit. It's great. I'll put a link to the um, audio bullshit uh, forum on Facebook. So, of course, all this stuff is just pretty. And again, they're, they're looking for people that um, just have too much money. They're like, oh, you got too much money? Oh, okay. I can help you with that. You know, and then a, a fool and his money will soon part ways. So, and if you ever go to these shows, oh, my God, these guys are such bullshit artists. So, I haven't seen any of the um, stupid cable feet holders. That they put in stuff. I mean, a lot of this stuff is just really impressive. It's just really, you know, overkill. But, you know, um, you know, for what you need, it's funny. Most people listen to like 15 to 30 watts. That's it at, in, at home. And uh, again, most people, not you guys. You guys are like, turn it up, man. And uh, but for most people, 30 watts is plenty. Harbeth Super. I don't know how that's super. Especially with a stupid round port. You're going to spend all that money on that cabinet and fucking make a slot port. It's way better. It's bigger. The old JBL diamond facet tweeter. That's great. I loved that uh, MCM for a while had the knockoff of that. So they copied the uh, tooling on it. Made it for a while. It's really loud. I think I made a pair of loudspeakers or a little uh, desktop or was it bookshelf speakers with those? Nordst? Nordost? Is it Nordost? Nordost? They have a Viking theme. So I'm sure somebody's from Minnesota or something like that. Yep, made in the USA. You betcha. So I remember going to CES one time and, and this uh, guy, he was such a creep. And then he was talking about how this 13 year old girl in Vietnam or some shitty country over there in Asia, uh, he's like, oh, she spends all day braiding these for me. And I'm like, yeah, while you're fucking her at night, like why else would you go over there for the cables? You fucking gross. You know, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You just turn the hose on everybody when they're fucking somebody you don't think that they should fuck? Hmm? What are you gonna do? Who was I? Who was I telling? I got mad a little bit the other night about some pervy dude, and it's because I dropped off his equipment, and uh, his ten-year-old daughter came home from like dance recital or something like that, and he gave her a kiss on the mouth that was a little too long. But you know, um, who am I to judge? And uh, you know, I just think about that Ferris Bueller part where he's like, "Oh, so that's how it is in their family." You know, some families are like that. And then I said uh, to the guy that was commenting, I said, well, you know, my dad made me kiss him on the lips until I was 12. And then, you know, then when that last day, first day of eighth or sixth grade, first day of sixth grade, he's like, what, you're not going to give your dad a kiss? He gives me a kiss on the mouth. And then I get out of the truck and he's like, honk, honk, fag. I'm like, oh, thanks, dad. It's a good way to start in sixth grade. You start eyeing up some vaginas. Rage with the machine. Boy, that's terrible. Like, why are you going to steal their thunder on your stupid wood headphones? That'd be great if these were, like, just coconut shells, and then they just polished them up. 
Deckard Criminal. It's only a steal at $700 for a Class A headphone and digital analog converter. Oh, Hafler. Wow. I didn't know they were still making stuff. Uh, I thought they were dead. I'll have to go check them out. This is from 2017, though, by the way. So, But, yeah, I thought Rockford uh, had, had shelved the brand. I mean, it really doesn't cost them much to bring stuff to market, especially now that everything's made in China for them. Or I should say uh, Asia, because they... They realized that they went over and bought um, a factory or two, uh, in especially in a country where uh, they allow for foreign investment like the U.S. does. And then you, you own the factory outright and then you can control everything. You can control the uh, quality and uh, the margins, the labor, you know, the labor costs. So that, that's what you really have to watch out for is you want high quality but cheap labor. And the only real way to do that is to own the factory where you can hold people responsible and fire them for being fuckheads and stuff like that. So, but most of it is just, you know, like imagine, you know, living in a village and then you got to go work on this. You got to make this for some rich asshole in America. Like I would be resentful too. So, and then they're like, do a good job or you're fired, you know, from your dollar an hour job. So, Never heard of that. Betus. 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 Betus Audio. YG Acoustics. So some of these, again, uh, these are just like one dude and his patient wife, Heigel. Hegel? Hegel? Um, one dude and his patient third wife, who is from the Philippines and bosses him around. But, you know, she lets him do his audio stuff because that's what pays for her vacations so she can go see her family again. Um, that's most of these companies. So, because there's nothing over there. Uh, you know, it's weird. It's almost like you got to be super narcissistic in order to even sell stuff like this. Uh, to buy into the bullshit. Or super dumb. A lot of Mormons are actually into this because it pays really well. And, you know, Mormons are, are generally dumb anyway, um, because if you're smart, you realize the whole thing is a scam and then you're a good person and you realize I shouldn't be spreading this bullshit. So, oh, yeah, there was a, a little touch of Mormonism recently here. There was a murder uh, some lady killed or is accused of killing her two sons and burying them in Idaho. And it had to deal with here in Chandler. And uh, she was like, um, excuse me. She was, uh, she was like, I talked to God and I'm married to Moroni and, uh, you know, a bunch of weird Mormon folklore. And, you know, I was telling Sherry, like, you know, I'm not surprised. It's more, more stuff like that doesn't happen because they feed you such giant bullshit and it really does not stand up over time. And, uh, not really much going on here. There you go. There it is. I really like the texture of the woofers, though. That's kind of cool looking. Well, they have grills on them. That's why. I thought that was like some sort of carbon fiber or other pyramid fiber. So it looks like two good eights and then maybe a five and then a tweeter. Let's see. Nope. Six and a half. Ceramic mid-range. And then those are probably eights or tens. Or is it one active? And There you go. Twin eight-inch woofers. And then a large Class D amp in the back. <gasps> Class D. Listening to vinyl. Oh, no. So, but, um, yeah, you know, when you when you feed these people shit and then you keep them in the dark, you know, you're going to end up with some weird-ass mushrooms that come from that. And then, you know, they go off on their own thing. And then the, 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 the church excommunicates them really to limit their liability because... They're the one that's, that have been feeding that bullshit uh, the, the whole time. And, uh, you know, they're like, oh, you're bad. You're not with us. It's like, no, you just got caught. That's, you know, that's that's the only bad part is they got caught in man's law. And they believe in God's law. It's like, you know, I would, uh, I would respect them more if they just said, you know, we like to fuck kids, you know, be like, 
okay, I don't agree with that, but okay. You know, like I can't stop you. Again, I'm not going to turn the hose on everybody I, you know, think is having sex with somebody they shouldn't. So, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I tell you what, though, in uh, high school, that's all I attracted was girls that had been molested by their stepfathers. So that whole thing on uh, Pornhub about step parents having sex with them, that is real. But typically it's not the mom. It's typically the stepdad that's banging the, the kids that he's not related to. Sometimes they bang the, the kids they are related to, and then they're like, mm, your butthole's all wide now. I don't like you. And then they move on to the new kids. So, And then, like, I remember somebody was telling me about how their um, their new dad was roughing up the mom, and uh, they hauled off and punched him. And uh, I said, well, did your, did your mom thank you, or did she uh, go back to him? She's like, he went back to, she went back to him. Yeah, when, paper, when parents are fucked up and they're in uh, abusive relationships, you know, a lot of times they don't change. People think they can't change, and that's not true. You can. You can completely reinvent yourself every fucking day. Now, you, your, your friends not may keep up, but you get to experience uh, yourself in a different light. And that's why sometimes it's good just to fucking move. Like when uh, I got in that fight with my dad, I shouldn't say I got in a fight. He beat me up. <laughs> I had a broken leg at the time too. And so he was like roughing me up. It was like not even fair. And uh, so I had to go live with my mom. And uh, I got to be uh, go back to junior high from being a freshman. And that was killer, man. I got to rewrite history. So all those girls that know that I, whatever, I didn't shit myself, but let's say I shit myself in the third grade or whatever, and I got really embarrassed. Now all those girls that knew that I shit my pants in the third grade um, don't, you know, nobody knows that story. And so that I can, I can reinvent myself. And I tell you what, I was picking up the skanks. Every one of them got molested by their dads or their stepdads or somebody. And then they were like, he's a good guy. Yeah, I am a good guy. I didn't know any better, but I was still a horny guy. Still a man, man. Oh, so Harmon, which is owned by Samsung now, also owns Mark Levinson. That's cute. So th these guys had a, um, a cute idea where they, they were like, you want to listen to pure DC. You don't want any AC in the signal. And so they had this huge amp that ran on DC. And then you had to buy another module that you connected to it that had all the batteries in it. It was so stupid. But, you know, there's guys that think that, you know, some sort of sort of recording or playback is better in DC. And I'm like, well, wait, that's car audio. Don't you guys shit on car audio? And don't you shit on me for putting a car audio amp at home? Hmm, that's weird. So, well, I also took a bunch of shit for putting four magnets in a in a magnet assembly. So, but now everybody's doing it. So yeah, so fuck me, fuck me in the butthole. Ugh. Here's like that one. That was a good one. Like, JL acts like it's so, you know, pristine and not a whore. But they're the biggest whores. Because they'll sell you anything. And it's not even great, you know. It's like, uh, you know, when you, you go into the massage parlor and uh, the, 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 the girl that's got a pretty face, but she ends up having a belly and uh, she's kind of angry. And she's like, you know, you're like, how much for an hour of... VIP service and she's like four hundred dollars. You're like four hundred dollars. Oh my god, I gotta go. I gotta find somebody else that's hungry. You don't look hungry, and uh, then she gets all mad. But I'm like, for four hundred bucks, you can get a porn star in your your fucking local area while she's touring. So that's gonna be coming back, by the way, for you guys that like to be star fuckers. So because. Everybody's out. Well, like, if you, fuck, if you went to that one concert where they, those kids got their fucking heads smashed in. Like, this is terrible. Beatus, there's more Beatus audio. Coming to the end. Oh, would you like to buy the, the eighth copy of fucking Beach Boys that you, you never owned or you don't own anymore? So, this is getting boring. Now they're getting to the guys, like, as if these guys are important. What is that... Oh, I thought that was Larry Bensicle. That kind of looks like Larry Bensicle a little bit. No, 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 no. 
Shelly's. Shelly's stereo. Looks like everything. Oh, California audio since 1959. Been taking your money since 1959. Mm -hmm. Again, the, the, the worst thing is in the turntables. When they just make turntables out of exotic materials like granite or plexiglass or whatever. And, you know, they're like, these are $10,000. So like these, these turntables like these. It's made of solid marble, Italian marble. As if the marble in this country is, is terrible. The best is comes from Italy. This is all just reviews and bullshit. And that's it, you guys. And then audio quest on the back. Bringing up the rear with these fucking shields that pull off your RCAs. These aren't so bad. Uh, it's the other ones with the teeth. Uh, we've seen that. I, I told Larry that um, his lightning audio. I have so, a bunch of lightning audio cables left over. If anybody's interested in high-end uh, RCAs. And um, I told him, I said, whatever you do, don't import those anymore. Because those rip the fucking shields off the amplifiers. Like the amplifiers are like, oh, what are you doing? And they just pull them right off because they're so tight. It's like, that's not the way they're supposed to work. So anyways, I love you. Have a happy turkey day. I'm going to get to work uh, trying to get some orders out by, I think, UPS ships tomorrow. So I'll try to get some stuff out tomorrow. I love you guys. Have a great week and thingy.